Um, briefly today, I'll be speaking on brotherly love. Brotherly love. Uh, we're going to look at the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 10. Romans chapter 12 verse 10. It says, be kindly affectioned to one another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another. Now, the word brotherly love is, is referring to a kind of love that can protect. You know the kind of love a brother has for his sister, genuinely. That, that kind of love that a brother has for his sister, his own blood sister. Where, whereby, when other people want to challenge the sister, he will rise to defend. That's what the Bible is referring to here. Is is a kind of love that is ready to defend. That's what they call brotherly love. So the kind of love that should exist between we believers is a brotherly love. You see other Christians who are following God as your brother. You see them as your sister. So if the Bible is saying brotherly love, it's not the Bible is not just talking to the males, it's talking to both the males and the females. If we have brotherly love, then there is sisterly love too. That's it. So, the brotherly love is a love that can defend. Are you there? A, 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 a love that can stand for, not stand against now, stand for. Somebody is speaking bad of your fellow Christian and you are there, you are saying, well, it's none of my business. I think they are not talking to me. He's the one they are talking to. No. If you have brotherly love, you should stand to defend such a person. You stand for what is right <clears throat> and you stand against what is wrong. That's brotherly love. So this brotherly love should also work in both, you know, it should work in both the, 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 the males and the females. Are you there? So the, the, the females can exhibit it and the males also can exhibit it. You must know that what Jesus is saying to one is also saying to all. So when the Bible says brother love should continue, it means that it is not only for the males, but also the females. So both of us, as long as we are Christians, we are to exhibit what we call brotherly love. The Bible may not necessarily call it sisterly love, but for the fact that the Bible is saying brotherly love, we must understand, you know, by, by knowledge that that statement is talking to both the male and the female. I hope you understand that. So, brotherly love, the first features of brotherly love is defense. It's, it's a kind of love that can defend one another. We can stand to defend one another. Are you there? Yes. Not, not because, you know, some people, they don't, they don't feel concerned. Once it will not affect them, then they, are, they don't care. No, that's not features of brotherly love. If you have brotherly love, you care about others. You defend them. Are you there? You defend them to defend the faith. If you have brotherly love, you, you stand for others. You won't look down on them, you stand for them. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 9. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourself are taught of God to love one another. Can you see that? The kind of love that should naturally exist between Christians is brotherly love. That's it. How can we ask you to mentor a lady as a male and yet after some months she's now pregnant for you? That's not brotherly love. It means the love that exists between the two of you is not a brotherly love. Because if there's brotherly love between a brother and a sister who are both Christians, there will not be immoralities. There won't be any form of immoralities between them. The only thing that a brotherly love can produce is godliness. So you defend one another, you help one another, you stand for one another, not corrupt one another. So which whatever love leads to corruption is not brotherly love. No, it's not brotherly love. So the word brotherly love there is pointing to God's kind of love, a kind of love that moves you to do things with a pure motive. That's brotherly love. And finally, Hebrew chapter 13, verse 1. It says, Let brotherly love continue. Can you see that? The, now, this is an instruction. Let brotherly love continue. Why? The Bible knows that at a point, you may you may want to put an end to brotherly love. Maybe because you try to defend someone or you, you are standing for somebody and the person seems not to appreciate your effort. 
the word of the Lord is coming to you. I know you may be thinking to stop. Oh, all, all what I'm doing for this person, he or she did not even appreciate it. I, yeah, I think it's better I just stop what I'm doing since nobody appreciates me. No. The word of the Lord says, let brotherly love continue. If they don't appreciate you, you need to understand that God sees you. And the God that knows what you are doing, he himself will come and reward you. The word of the Lord is, let brotherly love continue. No matter how many hurt you have received, no matter the numbers of people that have hurt you, even while you are trying to help them, while you are trying to make things better for them, don't stop doing what is good. Because the instruction in the word of God is, let brotherly love continue. Now many of us, we are contemplating on, which, yes, let me stop doing these good things. Nobody is saying it. No. People do not need, you know, people do not need to see what you are doing. What is important is that God saw it, and the same God that sees what you are doing knows how to reward you. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus.